Hello my amazing third graders and welcome back for a very fun day of working with our air dry clay. Please make sure the first thing that you have done is prepare your clay by wetting it until it is sticky. If it is a little too dry and crumbly your clay will not stick nicely together. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a dim sum steam basket with lots of tasty foods inside. What you're going to want to do is with your clay please break it in half. One half of the clay will be for the food items and the other half of the clay will be made uh, the, the steam basket that we'll put our food in. So take this piece of clay, put it off to the side, and we're going to work and make our steam basket first. Take this clay and please break it in half again. With this piece we want to first roll our clay into a sphere can be a rough sphere, sphere, and then use the palm of your hand to press the clay down into a slab. Remember, slab is our word for making a pancake in clay. We want our pancake to not be too thin, nice and th thick, because this is going to be the base of our steam basket. You can pinch it a little thinner with your fingers, but the best way to flatten the clay is with the palm of the hands. Smacking your clay like this will not get it thin. Once you've got your clay the thickness that you would like your base to be, take a small circular object and press it down into the clay to trace or press out a circle for the bottom of your basket. We want the circle to be relatively small because we don't want to use too much of our clay for the bottom. In fact, boys and girls, we will probably end up having a lot of extra clay at the end, especially fun for that free clay project. So let's add this into our food pile. So we've gotten the bottom of our basket. Now we need to make the sides. Let's go ahead and lay this to the side and go ahead and take our other piece of clay. Let's pinch it and mold it into a fat coil. A coil, remember, is the word for our snake of clay. We can also roll it on our table to elongate it. We want it to be long enough to fit around the circumference of the base of our circle. Remember, I'm working on a piece of cloth mat to prevent, or you can even work on paper, to prevent my clay from sticking to my table. That'll be about good because I'm going to flatten it down. Using my fingers, I'm just going to press my coil until it's a flat and long slab. As I press it, it's going to get a little bit longer. But that's good because I am going to actually wrap it around and then make sure the edges go off to the side. That'll be perfect. Okay, boys and girls, now we need to attach this piece to this piece. And whenever we attach clay to each other, we need to scratch and add water, which is called slipping and scoring. I'm actually going to slip and score on my flat slab here. You can take either a pencil or a fork, works really well too, to agitate and scratch the surface of our clay. This is like those bumpy mats on the sidewalks that help us not slip when it's wet and raining outside. Then take your fingers and gently add water to the edge. Let's also agitate a little bit the edge of the base of our steam basket. Then, go ahead and put these two things together. You'll obviously have an overlap on your basket, but that'll be okay. We can take this and pinch it off. Then, what I do is take my finger and swipe those two clay pieces together, merging them into one piece of clay. I also take and pinch the base to make sure that those two pieces of clay stick really nicely together. So then you can see in the bottom that those two pieces have stuck like glue. 
I also want to make sure that the edge, maybe I take and swipe up the base of my steam basket to match. Okay, boys and girls, I have made my steam basket, and I think what I want to do while it's still wet is actually add some texture. Maybe I take my pencil and add the slits in the base, because after I put my food in here, I might be able to see it. I could also add the seam for the bamboo on the outside. And if I want, boys and girls, I can even make my basket a little bit shorter by tapping down the clay. Now it's a tad bit shorter and also smooth on the top. Whenever there's a rough part of our clay, one way we can smooth out that clay is taking a bit of water and rubbing it gently on the clay to smooth it. Okay, I've got my steam basket and now let's fill it with some yummy treats. First thing I think I'll make is a steam bun. So, I love eating shilong bao. And they look kind of lumpy, don't they? So I'm gonna make the lumpy bun. Make the hole in the top. Maybe twist it a bit. And then add the texture marks to the top. This will be extra fun when, if I have a chance to paint it as well. That way I can add some details. Ooh, it's a bit big. Sometimes I'll need to make some of these things smaller. Maybe I can make a sumai. Ooh, I love making sumai because it is actually those techniques that are really simple. We need to make a pancake. Pressing the clay down into a slab for a nice thin wrapper, then making the filling, and then I can take and wrap the wrapper around it and make it into that tall column shape. When I add some color to this, it'll be really nice. And maybe one more thing that I can make is, um, Maybe a little tiny fish. Whenever I add clay together, remember that you need to scratch and add water. For these little places, like where I'm going to put the eye, I just give a little bit of scratch and a little water. I'm going to make my fish have a really giant eye. It's going to be a very tasty full steam basket full of delicious treats. Oh, I almost forgot boys and girls. Whenever I lay things down into my basket as well, I need to scratch them to add water so that if I ever move it, these pieces stay firmly inside my basket. Notice how when the clay is nice and sticky, those pieces can sometimes stick together without even needing to be slipped and scored. So I'm going to put that in right there. Oops, let's move over my sumai. <laughs> Full basket of food. Okay, boys and girls, that is my little steam basket, and I hope you have fun making lots of treats to go inside of yours.